Good things come. through my disguise. Odd. Oh, even the Shrine Maiden often struggles to find me. Huh? My tail was sticking out? Ah, I must have been too nervous and failed to fully utilize my ninjutsu technique. So, uh, what do you need? Well, uh... I heard that Shimura has added a delicious new dish to their menu. And Yai Publishing House has some good light novels. Oh, and the dip in Isa Bathhouse is always nice. So, uh, you know, today's weather is perfect for all that stuff. So, what can I do for you? N no, really, I'm not up to anything. I'm just a little tired and thought I could use a good nap. I'll be going now. D don't bother chasing me again. You won't be able to catch me anyway. Oh no, anything but that. <sighs> You're just as difficult as the Shrine Maiden. Come on, just let me go, would you? Oh, fine. But if I tell you the truth, I don't want to hear any complaints, no matter how crazy the truth may seem. So, you know I'm in the Shumatsuban, right? Well, it's our job to take care of matters that are inconvenient to the higher-ups. Which sometimes includes ambushing people. Huh? Doesn't that intimidate you even a little bit? You do know what that means, right? And still no reaction, huh? Don't tell me it's because of my height. <sighs> Anyway, being ambushed is pretty scary. You should at least try to express a little concern. Uh, actually, according to my orders, you are. Though I have no intention of really attacking you. I don't get it. They never assign me this kind of mission. There's loads of other suitable operatives. <sighs> All this craziness is starting to interfere with my sleep schedule. I just dropped by to see how you were doing. I was glad to see that you're okay. I was worried about how you'd react. I mean, who knows what you'd do if you knew that I was out to ambush you. Yet, when I told you, you didn't so much as flinch. I guess that actually made me feel a lot better. Who do you want to talk to? Someone in the Yashiro Commission? 
she's the one who's been assigned to supervise my work. She always tries to catch me whenever I'm slacking off. Basically, it's her duty to keep me from napping. But... She would probably know more about the origins of my mission. Fine... I'll take you to her. But I'll have to hide somewhere in the distance. If she catches me anywhere near there, I'll never hear the end of it. And then they'll sentence me to all kinds of work, which will really cut into my time for napping. Please, she's quite perceptive. You mustn't tell her that you've seen me anywhere. You got that? We have a deal. No word about me. We go! Uh, where has she run off to this time? Huh? I didn't expect to see you here. You're the traveler, right? It's a pleasure. Yes, Miss Kamisato has spoken of you before. You seem familiar. It appears my intuitions were correct. May I ask what brings you here? It just so happens I'm looking for a little child by the name of Sayu. She's a ninja, with a nasty habit of disappearing the moment I turn around. <sighs> she's always neglectful of her duties. She often comes here to take a nap, but it seems she's already predicted that I would come looking for her. You haven't happened to see her anywhere, have you? She's wearing a Mojina costume. Pretty hard to miss. Really? Well then, I suppose I'll just have to keep searching for her. Oh? How could that be? How did you catch wind of this? Did you encounter the ninja tasked with the matter? Huh. Well, I'm sure there's no need to worry. You're probably just overthinking things. After all, you have been of great service to the Yashiro Commission, and many are thankful for your actions. How could anyone even consider dispatching a ninja to attack you? Like Sayu? You mean to say that this matter is related to Sayu? There's absolutely no need to worry about Sayu. If anything, she's extremely loyal and would never act presumptuously. Though she often neglects her duties as a ninja and seems to never heed instructions, she's certainly not one to go against our principles. Given her age, such portentous tasks are not assigned to her. What's the matter? Are you still worried? All right, just to be sure, I shall personally inquire about this matter with the Yashiro Commission. Though I am the Shrine Maiden, it is also part of my duties to take on work from the Shumatsuban. Yes, of course. I am sorry that this matter has taken up so much of your time. I'll be sure to look into it and get back to you as soon as possible. Phew! That was close. Thanks for not ratting me out. <sighs> Even I find it hard to sleep through a tense moment like that. Hmm... I don't know where else to start. Oh! But there is one official guy who is responsible for delivering orders from the Yashiro Commission to the Shumatsuban. But I never receive those kinds of missions. Okay, what's the plan? Huh? But, but, I can't do that! Oh wait, you said pretend- Oh! <sighs> but that's all- Oh, fine. Your evidence caught his attention. Let's go to the meeting.
adventure time! Off we go! Sayu, is it true? Have you completed the mission? I don't recall you ever taking any ambush missions before. How were you able to deal with the renowned traveler so swiftly? Uh, well, you see, I... I caught her off guard. Yeah, that's it. She didn't have time to react. All it took was one thump, then bam, and it was over. Oh no. How could this be? I really didn't see this coming. Don't you usually just ignore your orders from the Shumatsuban? How was I supposed to know that you'd actually take this one and finish it so efficiently? Uh, well, I don't feel sleepy every day, you know. So don't underestimate me. My sensei did teach me some ambush techniques. I just never used them before, that's all. I see. Fine, I'll report back then. Hey, wait! Don't leave! Traveler, you can come out now! Huh? Explain yourself, Sayu. What's going on here? So, you were lying to me the whole time? The Traveler is still alive? Shrine Maiden already confirmed that there was no such mission. So we decided to catch you red-handed in your own game, you sneaky sneak. W wait I, I can explain! It's not what you think! Yes, I was the one who forged the ambush mission, but I had good reason to. N no please just hear me out i'll explain everything i've got him tied up he's not going anywhere that takes care of that <sighs> now all we need to do is drag you back and i can have a good night's sleep Hello, Traveler. And I see Sayu and Mr. Ogawa are with you. Is something the matter? I understand the situation. It seems Mr. Ogawa was only acting out of coercion from the Kairagi. He had no intent to truly harm you. However, it concerns me that those forged orders went as far as they did. It's my responsibility to look into such matters. I will take the appropriate measures to resolve this. Allow me to take the investigation matters from here. You needn't worry any longer. <sighs> if that's all, then we should get going. I can't help but feel a little uneasy here. It's not often that I get to see you here, Sayu. Uh... <laughs> it seems that Sayu is almost always sleepy and in need of a good nap. To see her here accompanying you and addressing these matters goes to show how much effort she is expending on your behalf. But from now on, you should better attend to your duties. There's no need to keep Kano Nana worrying all the time. But I don't want to work. All I want is some sleep, but you keep the Shrine Maiden on my tail all the time. There's loads of way more qualified ninja to handle every task. The Shumatsuban would be the same with or without me. But you performed admirably the first time you assisted the Traveler, did you not? Everyone believes that there are some missions that only you can accomplish. This truth remains, whether you choose to believe it or not. Your sensei taught you ninjutsu, so that you may step in when a mission needs you. Yes, I understand, but... Sorry, I don't know what to say. I should go. Bye. <sighs> She's just a little... lost. It is only my wish to help her. Before her sensei suddenly decided to leave, they insisted that I watch over her progress. Part of the reason I've assigned Kano Nana to keep an eye on her is to fulfill my promise. 
In fact, I'm certain that Sayu remembers her sensei's aspirations for her quite clearly. Otherwise, she would have quit the Shimatsu Ban long ago. She's been lost and unsure of herself ever since her beloved sensei's abrupt departure. Thank you, Traveler. She obviously has some reservations towards me. Though I've only desired to help and look after her, I'm afraid it's never culminated to much. <sighs> yes, perhaps you're right. Sensei told me that all I need to do is grow big and tall. I remember that. I had no idea how difficult such a simple thing could turn out to be. I'm not complaining, you know? I understand everyone has hopes for me. Miss Kamisato, Sensei, the Shrine Maiden... But I haven't done anything right. And whenever I try to do my best, I can't help but feel more pressure bearing down on me. If only I grew a little taller, maybe then I could handle it. I guess all I can do is say sorry. Anyway, thank you. I don't know what else to say. Even talking is starting to feel difficult now. This is why I don't like coming here. <laughs> <laughs>